stagecoach, uh, as well as Genoa. Uh, because these are smaller areas, I tried to group them all together uh, due to the lower inventory, so we had a little bit larger numbers to go off of. Uh, if you do want more information about a single particular area, uh, you can always reach out to me and I am happy to pull the data based on one specific location. Uh, but again, for the purposes of uh, staying up to date on the market in these areas, so we had enough inventory to kind of work with, I uh, went ahead and uh, grouped them all together. Um, so if we break down the numbers uh, for these regions, there was 46 homes that had a status change during the week of October 12th through October 18th. Uh, that could be either a new listing coming on the market, a coming soon listing, um, or it could be changing from that new status to just an active status. Uh, it could also be a price reduction or a price increase, or it could be from it uh, coming back on market. So at one point it actually fell off the market and then came back on. Um, so looking at those numbers again, there was 46 total homes actively for sale that had that status change during the week of October 12th through October 18th. Uh, out of that 46, nine of those homes were in the 200 to 300,000 price range. Nine had a list price between 300 and 400,000. Nine had a list price between four and 500,000. Four homes with a list price between 400 and, or excuse me, 500 and 600,000. One between 600 and 700,000. Three homes with a list price between 700 and 800,000. Two homes with a list price between 800 and 900,000. And three homes in that million plus price range. Uh, if we break this down, that would leave a median uh, list price of about 395,000. Uh, if we do it by the averages, uh, it shoots up quite a bit to closer to 475000 That is likely because those uh, few that are in that higher price range tends to change the average a bit. So um, with this case, you're probably closer uh, using that median list price uh, if you're trying to determine the prices of the areas. But again, if you need uh, information on a specific area, please make sure to just give me a call. Uh, Breaking down those numbers even further, uh, the average days on market for those outlying areas uh, is actually quite a bit larger than Reno Sparks uh, with the average days on market sitting at 96. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the content. If so, make sure to click that like button. If you have any questions, again, you want more information on a particular area, since this video had several, uh, just feel free to give me a call on my cell phone at 775. 378-4976. You can also email me at jakeeldridge32 at gmail.com or if you're watching on Facebook, simply click that send message button and you can use Facebook's messenger service to send me an instant message with your questions and I'm always happy to answer that way as well. Uh, don't forget if you do have family or friends that might actively be looking for a home to purchase right now, uh, feel free to tag them in this video. As I said, I'm always happy to help out. Um, so thanks again for watching and have a great day.